So, I tried Pixie uh, for 21 days because I saw there was a 21 day challenge and I was like, what the heck? Like, I keep hearing good reviews about it and everything. I might as well give it a go. So I picked up the, like, the tiny bottle because, you know, skeptical and all. So 100 milliliters. Um, it's been over 21 days. Like, I started this, what, the last, nail, the last day of November. Now we're in, like, January. It's half, like, less than half a bottle. I'm actually pretty surprised. Because, like, I'm pretty surprised because I really thought that, like, it wouldn't make it to 21 days. <laughs> but it did. So that's shocking. Um, you don't really need that much, which is great. Um, so, like, I did find that it worked. It's pretty good. My skin's looking pretty clear, I think. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. Um, it doesn't really take away, like, the black spots that are there that I've noticed, but it has, like, cleared up my skin. There's, like, no, I don't know, no pimples, really. Nothing big, nothing major. I mean, like, of course it's gonna be little stuff, but it is what it is. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, it seems like it prevents, uh, for me, hyperpigmentation from coming in. But the ones that are already there, I guess it's kind of like, yeah, sucks to be you. You gotta get rid of it on your own. So if anyone knows of anything to get rid of that, that'd be perfect. Anyways, um, I do have a butt with this. A very big butt. I don't actually like using this on its own. Um, on its own it was fine, but for me personally, my skin liked it way better when I used it with this. Like this is hydrating and it's for dry and sensitive skin, so I guess, especially in the winter, I've got dry and sensitive skin, and um, my face liked that better. So I would use one in the morning, one at night, or one one day, one the other, or rotate that. Or even do like one every other day and go on using the other one. Just rotate between them. And I kind of give it a go and see. But I think my skin likes that the best. So that's pretty much my review. I mean, to each their own, everyone would be different. Some people might be perfectly fine using the Pixie Glow uh, Tonic on its own. But for me personally, I'm mixing the two because that's what works best for me. I guess if the Pixie's too drying for my skin. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, this is pretty much my review. Um, I guess I'll show you what I use so that you can see. I'll show you what I will show you what I use to wash my face. Um, then on um, the two tonics, and then sometimes this little oil that I put on afterwards. Give you a snippet of that. So I like. Just purify and clay mask to clean my skin or rotate between spectrums like sensitive skin stuff. That's to wash my skin. And then um, I would either use one of these two, the Pixie Glow or the Grimey one, to kind of, I guess, finally finalize my skin and wipe it down. You get a cotton ball, wipe it down. So you wash your skin, make it clean. And then sometimes, uh, not every day, but here and there, I would use a uh, sea buckthorn oil as like the finisher. And I would usually use this as a finisher, definitely like right after the Pixie Glow, not after this, because this, um, this I find moisturizes my skin, so it's very hydrating and has glycerin. So I don't really use the sea buck oil with this one, but I more or less use it with this one. And, yeah. 